Hey everyone, Dean Somerset. We're looking at corgasm mechanism number two. So one potential method is that during app contractions, the pelvic floor gets stimulated into a recoil effect. So if we have anything that increases intra-abdominal pressure here and pushes down, the pelvic floor has a recoil effect where it pushes out and then contracts to come back in. So that pelvic floor recoil effect could cause stimulation of the muscles in through the pubic coccygeals as well as through some of the perineal muscles to be able to create contraction and drive up, which then could potentially stimulate areas within the vagina that would be more along where the G-spot would be located on the anterior wall here. So in something like that, there's a potential that it could work. The other potential could be that if the pelvic floor isn't getting good recoil out of it, say in the condition of where there's prolapse or where there's pelvic floor dysfunction, then would that necessarily mean that the individual is seeing the results there or is seeing the ability to have a corgasm if they're not getting the pelvic floor to recoil? And now one of the questions that I would have is if we have somebody who has had prolapse or any kind of pelvic urinary incontinence or anything like that, would they still get anything that's similar to a corgasm effect?